Hey guys, hope you're all doing good uh, today. I hope that, uh, you know, the weather is nice wherever it is you're at. Um, here for me, it's it's not too, too bad. It's a little windy out and, you know, but I mean, it's, it's not that bad. And I thought I'd you know, take a little walk here at Admiral Perry Park, which is pretty much right across the street from the trailer court that I live in. And I thought I'd tell you about uh, this unbelievable thing that happened to me uh, a few days ago when I was trying to pay my bills. <laughs> so uh, if you want to know what that is, stick around because the boat check experience starts right now. Welcome back to another video of the Vocek Experience, where idiots are still always us. Always me. You know, I'm an idiot. That's the fun part. I love being an idiot. But uh, but anyway, like I was saying in the intro, I had something happen to me uh, the other day when I was paying bills that I was not expecting to happen. Um, so, what is that, you might ask? Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> uh... Every two weeks when I get paid, I uh, pay what bills need to be paid at that point in time, you know. And uh, a few days ago, it was that time. And uh, one of the bills that I had to pay was uh, my Verizon cell phone bill. And uh, now keep in mind that on my cell phone bill, I have not just my phone, but I have my mother's phone, plus I have my Apple Watch and my iPad, and my mother's got her smartwatch and her iPad. So we got some things, <laughs> you know, uh, that, that we pay for on our Verizon bill. And because we have all that stuff, you know, and everything, normally our bill runs about between you know, three fifty to four hundred dollars a month, which is not bad, uh, considering all the devices that we have, you know, on our account, which is fine. No big deal, right? Well, I go, I log into my Verizon account, and I go to uh, see how much I owe, and uh, it said I owed uh, a little over eleven $1 hundred dollars. Yeah. Yeah, I about had a heart attack when I saw that. I was like, what? You know, like I thought I was seeing things at first, to be honest with you. And uh, so I logged out, logged back in. And uh, and yeah, it was the right account. And it was, the you know, it was true, <laughs> basically. And so I delved into the bill online to see what was going on. And I noticed that um, I had a charge on there for like 700 and some dollars. And, uh, and I also noticed that I was basically paying twice for my mother's iPad. <laughs> so, not being too happy about that, I decided to give them a call. But apparently, on a Sunday night, they're not in at like 6 o'clock in the afternoon. So, reluctantly, I had to get on their chat feature. And I hate, you know, getting on there and chatting to somebody. But whatever, got on there, uh, chatted with the guy, and I said, well, here's my concerns. 
you know, my bill is supposed to be between $300 and $400. Why is it over a thousand for one? And why am I paying twice for one iPad? So he puts me on hold. He says he's going to look into it for me. So, okay. So he goes to look into it for me. And, uh, he comes back, I'd say maybe 20 minutes later, and he's like, well, I found your problem. He's like, did you recently uh, get a new phone? And I was like, uh, well, uh, in December, I upgraded my iPhone 14 to an iPhone 15 Pro Max. And uh, I said I did the early upgrade where, you know, where you pay off half of your phone and then you can go and do an upgrade. And uh, he's like, well, it, it, what that $700 is, is uh, your old iPhone 14 that, uh, that you had that uh, it, it's showing that uh, um, we didn't receive it. Because see, when you upgrade to a new phone and everything, yes, you get the new phone and, and everything like that. But... Um, you have to send in your old phone. They, what they do is, is they print you out a U, UPS label and you just go to the UPS store and they just mail out your thing for you. So, okay. I did that within like two days of after upgrading this past December. But apparently, um, my phone was received. But the good folks at Verizon at the back end, uh, kind of accidentally and on purpose, if you ask my opinion, uh, didn't mark it as received, at least for the billing part of it. It was shown that it was received. They had the tracking number and everything, so they can't say I never sent it. Uh, so once he was like, yeah, there's the issue. So he's like, hold on while I take care of this for you. So he put me on hold for another, I don't know, probably like 15, 20 minutes. And uh, he took off that 700 and some odd dollars for me, which lowered my bill <laughs> significantly. And, uh, and then um, I talked to him about the iPad. And uh, he said that he's, he noticed that uh, what that is, is apparently when they added the, the new iPad. Because what I did was, is uh, right before Christmas, I got a hold of my mother's old iPad and her iPad was pretty old. And uh, so what I did was, is I took it in and I upgraded it because when I upgraded my phone, I got this deal where I could also upgrade, you know, get a new iPad. And I figured, well, you know what? I'll just do that with my mother's because hers is old. You know, mine's only like a year old, so my iPad's still pretty good. So, but uh, hers was pretty old. And so when they, I guess, did this, uh, when they added the, the new iPad, there was some kind of weird glitch in the system. They caused it to be there twice. And apparently they didn't catch it. So he took that off. And not only did he take that off, but he also apparently uh, refunded me on apparently the money that I paid them the last month for that iPad that I didn't know I was paying for. Because last month when I got the bill, it wasn't showing that 700 and some freaking dollars. So I just figured, hey, whatever, this is the bill, this is what we're paying. And so, so I should tell everybody out there, um, when you get your cell phone bill, and you should check it. Like, literally go and check it. Even if it doesn't seem like there's anything off, check it anyway. Because you never know. Because I found out that I was paying twice for one iPad. So, he got all that taken care of. Which caused my bill to go down even more. Which was good. So, um, I ended up paying, you know just a little bit less of what I normally would pay since he took everything off for me, which was good. So, I mean, he was good. I mean, I have nothing but good things to say about Verizon Wireless. 
Um, but uh, when I saw that, I was like, yeah, this is not right. So, but hey, he did me good. He went ahead, he diagnosed the problem. He figured out what was going on and he managed to get it done for me, taken off what needed to be taken off. And uh, I didn't have to pay <laughs> over a thousand dollars for a cell phone bill, you know, so kudos uh, to that Verizon guy who, you know, actually cared about the customer. Cause I know there are some, you know, customer service agents that just don't give two craps about the customer and they'll just be like, oh, we can't do it. Sorry about your luck. Pay that money. <laughs> you know, but he was nice. He did what he had to do. And, you know, I'm happy that I didn't have to pay all that money. But like I said, you should all check your cell phone bills when you get them just in case, because you never know. There could be some kind of glitch that's causing you to pay more than what you should be paying. So, and just call them and just get that taken care of right away. Uh, that's my advice, that's what you should do, uh, especially if you have Verizon Wireless. Because, you know, I mean, I get it. Sometimes things happen, sometimes there are glitches, sometimes there are, there are guys in the back end that just don't do what they're supposed to do hit the right buttons or whatever that it was where they was showing that uh, the phone wasn't there when it was so so yeah <laughs> but uh, but anyway um, all that to say that everything turned out good and everything and uh, and I'm happy and uh, hopefully that won't happen again because I will not be upgrading my phone for another year or so <laughs> so there you go there's a, there's a good story for you. And, uh, and as always, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and uh, hit that notification bell so you get notified of future videos. And, um, and of course, if you want to support this dumb little channel of mine, uh, you can uh, hit that join button, come member the Idiot Squad, because uh, we'd love to have you. Uh, or you can also support the channel by uh, scanning the QR code for my uh, cash app uh, and uh, all that stuff and of course if you want to follow me on all the major social medias uh, all those links are all down below and uh, also check out the merch store so uh, so if you haven't checked that out yet go give that a look over because who knows you might find something there that you like and uh, and like I said all those links are all down below and with all that being said, I actually do got a couple of things that I need to do today uh, before I have to go to work tonight and uh, and all that good stuff. I have to I have a doctor's appointment that I need to get to and uh, and I have to run to uh, the local grocery store here to get a couple of things for dinner tonight. So, but uh, but anyways, uh, with that being said, I hope you're all having a good day, good night, good week. Whatever the case is when you're watching this. And I also hope that, uh, you know, wherever you're at, it's getting warmer and everything. And uh, I also hope that you were able to, you know, hear me and that the wind blowing wasn't all that bad. But, you know, I never know about these things until I actually go back to edit and all that stuff. But anyhow, um, I hope you're all having a good day, good night, good week. Whatever the case is. And, uh... And I will see you all in the next video. And until then, bye for now. <laughs>